Linus Tech Tips coverage of Computex 2013 is powered by Western Digital. Our trusted gaming gear partner is Corsair Vengeance, and our trusted retail partner is NCIX.com. All right, guys, we're kicking off our day one coverage of Computex 2013 in our home base in the WD booth. Don't forget, we are giving away a ton of cool stuff, courtesy of Western Digital, after the show. The more you watch our WD coverage of the show, the more prizes we're going to be giving away, everything from hard drives to full gaming systems, all that kind of cool stuff. Check out the link to the forum under in the video description to get all of the details. Now behind me, you're going to see the main attraction here in the WD booth. This is a 14-foot, 250-pound racing car made out of what is essentially a high-density foam that is molded into the shape of actual hard drive components with a steel frame. It has a racing seat inside, so you can actually sit in it and get your picture taken as part of the booth's attraction. And we are going to be getting a sneak peek of the reveal that's actually going to happen in a little while, but you'll see it first on Linus Tech Tips. This is it. This is the big reveal. I have my lovely assistants from WD revealing this car. Go ahead, guys which is actually made. So they took CAD drawings of components of hard drives, some of the highest performance hard drives that you could possibly feasibly imagine with technology today, and they blew it up huge scale. So some of the things are blown up more or less than others. This right here is a hard drive platter and is actually not that much bigger than what you'd find in a three and a half inch drive. However, this guy here is significantly larger than what you'd see in real life. This is a dual stage actuator assembly here that is what actually reads and writes the data off of the platters. And the cool thing about this is while it looks pretty big here and you could probably fit that platter I showed you before in between, the actual distance between these and the platters in real life is a hundred angstroms. So to put that in perspective, a human hair is a million angstroms. A bacteria is 5,000 angstroms. And a virus is about a hundred angstroms. So these things are flying many, many miles an hour over the top of the platter. And they're, the tolerances are, uh, are not very big. So we're gonna make our way towards the back of the car. These are the coils that actually drive the head assembly over the platters themselves. They have to be extremely precise in order to read any data off of it at all. We've got more dual stage actuators, more coils. All of this is made of a high density foam with a steel skeleton. So the whole thing actually only weighs 250 pounds, making it very portable, but it's solid enough that you can actually sit in the thing. Now, the amount of the craftsmanship that went into this, this is hand built. So if you were to get really, really close, you'd be able to see every sandpaper mark on the thing because they spent countless hours building this thing to show off their technology. So down here, we've actually got a PCB trace that's been blown up to car size as well as a pivot bearing right here. So these high technology bearings actually have to be smooth enough and precise enough for that, well, that, those, those tiny, tiny data tolerances. Now, we're going to sort of cheat, and we're going to be the first ones to sit in the car here. I'm just going to lift up the side door. We're going to go ahead and see if I can maneuver this thing. So while it is durable enough to sit in, I also wouldn't recommend jumping right into it because it is made of, uh, of foam. It doesn't have quite the same structural strength as, a, as an actual Western Digital hard drive. Here we go. And of course, uh, I can't promise that any hard drive you buy will make you this cool, but if there's even a chance, I think I'll go for it. Guys, stay tuned. Don't miss any of our Computex coverage. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.